I see my look progressing to a more otherworldly look. Twenty-three-year-old Vinnie O is making it his mission to become a real-life alien. My goal in regards to my look is to become an exact scientific, proportioned, sexless human being. Vinnie grew up in a small town in Oregon, never feeling like he quite belonged. So at age 17, he packed his bags and went in search of new adventures. I moved to LA at a really young age and moving here, everything was always about sex appeal. And when I think of alien, I think of like, ugly, like aliens don't really have genders in my eyes at least. And I just, I connected with it. Since moving to LA, Vinny has found new motivation and belonging in his pursuit of alien perfection and through his work as a makeup artist. To get my alien look, I spent around about 60,000. I've had around about 110 procedures. Three surgeries, 110 procedures. But now Vinny wants to push his plastic surgery journey even further to where no man or woman has ever gone before. I'm looking to have gender unassignment. I'm looking to change my genitals so that way there is nothing there. Just maybe like a whole to pee out of. I want my genitals removed because life would be easier. I'm also celibate, which actually I've never told anyone really before. Hi, baby. Hi, sis. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for coming today. Minute. Yes, yes it has. Come on in. Thank Things you. have been really crazy with everything online, um, but you know, it's all an adventure. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the first time we had this conversation was probably three years ago? Whoa. Me being celibate is my way to be at peace with myself and my body on this process. I want to support you through that process. You know, I, I'm concerned with the psychological uh, effects of the surgery that it could have and, you know, messing with your biochemistry and your hormones because, you know, we mess up our biochemistry just a little bit and it can throw us completely off. What happens when you decide that you don't want children today, but you may want children later of your own? Have you thought a little bit about that? Of course I have. I thought about, you know, wanting kids of my own. Yeah. But ever since I was 16, I've wanted to adopt kids outside you of have. the system. I really have a concern about cyberbullying, and those are my biggest concerns, just his safety. Um, I'm concerned about, you know, him changing his mind about surgery, like later in life. But the more and more we talk about it, the more it actually feels like this is actually truly what he needs and wants to be more authentically him. Right now we are going to Dr. Simone's because he is obviously incredible at every procedure. He's one of those very well-rounded doctors. I'm excited because I haven't actually been to a doctor to talk about this like a surgeon in a very long time because I was very kind of like shy and quieted by um, previous doctors so I'm excited to see what he has to see. When I tell doctors my goals, they typically will like giggle, not think I'm serious, rush me out of their office, find like another excuse, tell me I need to go see a therapist. Nice you know. to meet Hi, you. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Nice to meet you. Come with me please. Yeah. So first, let's start with why do you want to have this done? Um, I've been wanting to have this done because for many reasons. First of all, I don't use my genitals. I'm already in, in terms like into transitioning, but I never really wanted to be a woman. That's not, I, I think that's kind of an easy way out. I feel that it'd be easier just to have like nothing. There will be a point when I'm finished with plastic surgery completely, and that'll be after I have softened and removed a couple things. But I just have, I have a list. Now, if you're creating a new type of a sexual organ, which is actually asexual organ, we don't know how your body's gonna react to it. The surgical procedure that Vinny wants to have done, it's very unique. It's not been done before. Uh, many doctors will have to take to consideration 
the psychological aspects of it as much as the medical aspects of it my main problem with his procedure was that what he's going to think about in 10-15 years because all the bridges are gone there's no way to come back to female or male and he's young and now he has to live with it until he's 80 or 90 years old i personally love venus look because i always like people that they don't look normal per se or what society says that it's normal. I support Venice transformation uh, becoming a genderless alien. Like I said, if he's ready to do it, I will go with him, be by his side. I got a lot of good information from him. It's nothing honestly that I hadn't already heard before, but I'm really happy that I went to him because he couldn't have been nicer kinder and uh, just more gentle about the entire situation, very accepting, so I'm very happy we went to see him today. Yeah! Of course! I totally believe in aliens. There are definitely aliens out there. Are they here? Am I in communication with them? You'll just have to wait and find out.